Thomas here with Much Props. Gonna give you another how-to video. Today we are gonna try some freestyling. Uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram, Twitter, social media, um, saw that this weekend I went to Spirit Halloween for some of their discount sales and I picked up a pair of oversized scissors. Um, technically they're not scissors by definition, but okay. Uh, and I thought man this would be something cool to make weapons out of and in particular swords and I know that there are some scissor type swords already out there so I wanted to kind of put my spin on it kind of in the fallout style so I was thinking along the lines of shish kebab but instead of gas um, maybe car batteries so today we are going to make what I am calling the scorched scissors from my imagination Let's get to building. So I picked up these scissors from Spirit Halloween the weekend after Halloween. So they were marked 25% off. Hooray. I spent lots of money on some potential props bases coming up soon. So look out for those. I need to separate the blades. So I cut the pivot point and pulled them apart. Cleaned out the plastic flashing with my X-Acto. Now I'm going to make some small lawnmower size batteries. With basic shapes like this, I just figure out the size and kind of freehand it. Um, obviously with a ruler, not with my, you know what I mean. I went back and made a template just in case you want to make your own without the guesswork. You will need two of each size to make one battery. I cut mine at a 45 degree angle so that it hides the seams and reduces the amount of gap filling I need to do later. Once you get the box built, now you just add the typical battery details like terminals, panels, and ridges. Depending on the type of battery you are mimicking, these details will be different. I know I was going to age the batteries, so I wasn't too worried about the coverage of the contact cement.
Now, my thoughts for the blade was to make it like a heated knife or wood burner. So I needed a platform for the dial to sit on and place for the hot coil to run through. The great thing about making your own design is that it can be complete nonsense. Here I am using the hot glue to add some faux weld beads on my attachments. The sloppier, the better. To add a way for the EL wire to wrap around the blade without it getting in the way of the edge, I thought this was a cool idea to make it coil around the flat edge. Make sure to wear a respirator and work in a well ventilated area while doing this. Burning plastic is not a good smell or very good for your lungs either. The batteries get a few coats of Plasti Dip and the blades get a black base and some Rust-Oleum hammered enamel. Then I age the metal with a misting of silver, brown, and black lightly. Decided that I wanted a red handle so I masked off the blades with tape and plastic grocery bags. Thank you. 
I did a quick aging with some brown and black acrylics, then I moved on to making the scissor blades have a heat tempered discoloration. I am using blue, red, and gold wax paint similar to like rub and buff to do this effect. Blue would be closest to the coil where it would be the hottest, gold would be closer to the edge of the blade, and the red would be the transition in the middle of those two colors. I cropped some images of labels on batteries from a Google search and printed it out onto some sticker paper. I didn't include these images on the template since I didn't create these images. Pick your battery of choice and just size it for your prop. Once applied, I dirtied it up with some more brown and black acrylic paints. Time to assemble. I glued the battery to hold it in place, added duct tape around it and zip ties to give it that thrown together and repaired look so it's attached multiple ways. Then I used some thin gauged wire and some o-ring clamps to make my terminal wires. Then I poked a hole into the dial platform to glue them into.
In order to get the dial to stick properly, I had to sand away some of the paint so that it would get a good connection. To add the EL wire, I simply strung it through the holes that I made earlier and zip tied the battery pack to the handle. And we are finished. Here is the end result. Overall, I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, obviously, this is all foam and then just piecing it together. I bought big packets of EL wires and this just kind of made sense um, to use them with because they're already that kind of really, really hot wire color anyways. And even when they're off, they look pretty awesome, but with them, currently on. I know it's hard to tell with the studio lights, but they are pretty legit. And then I actually used some old dials that my wife bought at a flea market uh, and just kind of incorporated everything in and dirtied stuff up and made stuff up as I went. So maybe you will try and make one of these scorched swords yourself and impress your friends with your Fallout style ingenuity to strike terror into the hearts of Wastelanders. Maybe you'll get some. Yay! And inevitably, they're gonna ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these, tell them, much props. Yeah. Uh, left, right, left, right. Um, how about both? Cut you with the scissor.